Welcome to Come Town, episode Ooh. six. Uh, just two of us today. I'm sorry, seven. Episode seven. Episode seven. We're just, just two of us. We're a little. Our uh, our leader Nicholas Mullen is not here. He's actually at a uh, rape joke convention. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a keynote. Uh, Daniel Tosh uh, keynote. Tosh will be in there. Uh, Brock Turner, I think, is skyping in. Nick is going also to an N word convention headlined by <laughs> Kramer next week. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, so Nick isn't here. So. But listen, you're going to want to stick with us. Hold because up, hold up, hold up. What's up? We Dumb Boys? That's right, We yeah, Dumb Boys. We Sorry. are Dumb Boys. Did we say I'm Stavros Hockey's the Adam uh, Friedland. Uh, Puerto Rican rattlesnake. Uh, Puerto Rican, yeah. And uh, But seriously, you are going to want to stick stick around because we have an incredible... This is our biggest get, for sure. We've had some great comics on, but uh, this guy, seriously, I'm a star. pretty stoked about having this guy on the show. He's been Normally when movies. you guys get famous people, I'm not on the show. Yeah, and but this that is will, the most famous person we've ever exactly, had. Exactly, and that's without So Nick. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, so, uh, guys, without further ado, Dr. Evil is here. Woo! Huh? Thank you, Stavros. Thank you, Adam. It's oh. a pleasure to be here at Come Town. Oh, we're so happy to have yeah, you. Yeah, so I mean, I've been a fan for years, really. For I, years. Yeah, you're too kind. I didn't know you were a real <laughs> person. I thought you were just from movies. Yeah, but. a lot of people make that mistake, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm a silly character, but no, I'm real. You're a real person with I'm, a faint Canadian accent. A very faint Canadian <laughs> accent. Yes, uh, a faint Doctor Evil accent. Some people would say <laughs> yeah. it's That's almost true. like I've I think- forgotten my own personality <laughs> since uh, 2000. Three years. <laughs> what have you been up to? You've been trying to take over the world and stuff? Still trying to take over the world. That's nice. Really? You haven't That's made a nice. lot of noise. I've gone into startups mostly. Uh-huh. Evil apps. Perhaps you've heard of Grinder. It's like <laughs> oh, Tinder, yeah. except it's for spreading AIDS. <laughs> wow. Wow, You're behind Dr. Grindr. Evil. We make a noise. We them boys, dude. Wow. Um, Incredible. Wow. That's, well, we're so happy to have you here, Dr. Evil. I'm happy to be him? here. Do you know? Huh? Do you know how we booked Dr. Evil? How we booked him, Nick knows him. Nick yeah, I knows think, him? I think he actually saw Nick was using uh, a well, lot of... I'll tell you how it happened. Oh, yeah, please, tell, please uh, fill us in. I had, I had an email from somebody that knows that I'm friends with him, and mm. they said, uh, this guy's uh, harassing women online, Ja. Uh, and Nick, uh, they Nick w- is. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, and no. They w- <laughs> Oh yeah, does he? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, they asked me if I could help uh, getting him fired. Oh yeah, we got those emails oh, too. Oh yeah, yeah. That woman, Sadie, uh, Sadie, 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 Sadie Doyle. Doyle. Well, oh, yeah. don't you know I'm actually enemies with Sadie Doyle. You are oh, too. Hey, Why is so that? So you and Nick have a common enemy. Uh, well, I'm what you call a brochialist. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it. The well, term for the listeners at home, who's who's Sadie Doyle? Doyle again? She's a journalist. She's my arch nemesis. She's yeah. a, a journalist, a blog, a blog s. s, a blog s. s yeah. Uh, she's a, a lady who uses computers to spew hatred. Oh, who does she hate? Uh, every white male comedian, <laughs> all of them. She has a, a vendetta, as they would say. Oh mm. yeah, that's true. And why do you beef with her? What's the, what's your problem? You said you're a brochialist. That's correct. <laughs> Basically, we all live in, uh, you know, skull mountain castles out in the water. That's very strange because, like, uh, I, I would have assumed if, like, you were supporting someone in the U.S. election that you wouldn't be supporting, you know, Bernie Sanders. So you You'd be supporting Bernie, Donald yeah. Trump. No, right? I'm actually a Bernie bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might think that I'm not, but I am. I love Bernie. Uh, I can't get women. enough of him. Donald, uh... I just don't like his attitude. Mm. You don't. Okay. It's too much uh, upfront evil. Yeah, it's not true. enough subtlety. Yeah. What I, I let me see Donald Trump end a sentence with uh, you know a long laughing gimmick like right. we do. Yeah, that's sure. true. That, which is your thing? That's my thing. I think. <laughs> if that, I think that was in the second movie, <laughs> <laughs> the one with Beyonce. Uh, yes, uh, yes in the member. gold, in the gold outfit. That's the third one. Yeah, hey, but that's but mainly that's why I hate the identity politics people is because Beyonce <laughs> dared to oppose me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's their queen, right? That's, that's their <laughs> hero. They're, I just now put it together. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's a good, that's a good bit. <laughs> wow. Jeez. So, okay, so you're, so you're bummed. Bernie's probably going to... 
going to pull out soon, right, dude? Well, I'll tell you what, Adam. We're going to find a way to create a new robot Bernie uh, with freaking laser beams <laughs> in, your, <laughs> in his eyes. In your socialist utopia that you want to In my up? socialist utopia where we can harass women from the safety of international <laughs> waters or space. I have a base on the moon where uh, Glenn Greenwald sends me uh, updates on the coordinated harassment campaign to bully women off the internet. That's actually what happened. Glenn sent me an email. He said, hey, Dr. Evil, how you been? Would you mind uh, uh, threatening to rape Sadie online? <laughs> I'm too busy raping women in Brazil. Wow, really? Yeah, he lives in Brazil with his <laughs> with his husband, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> they, they rape women together. <laughs> this is really great. Wow, Doctor Evil. Evil, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Because I know Nick had a bunch of beef last week with Sadie Doyle. She was going in on it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I heard about. Did that. you see that he used your image a lot? Actually, I actually endorse that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you make I all Doctor Evil? Memes? I make every Doctor Evil meme myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really interesting Wow, that's pretty chill Well, I tell you what, we're winning the fight against them But uh, there's uh, one of uh, 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 these people, a newer online, online account yeah. uh, Who I'm mostly worried about yeah. uh, It's this guy, uh, Woke Bastard <laughs> Oh, Woke wow. Bastard you know what? I would love to hear about Woke Bastard, but I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, stop. So, yeah, we're in the middle of an interview, Dude, I man. know. It's very unprofessional. Stop. You can't leave us. I oh have to go. God. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to go. I should be back really soon, though. All right, so. DR. I'm sorry. You know, DR, I was wondering, your voice sounds a lot like Caitlyn Jenner. I was just <laughs> thinking. <laughs> we had the same kind of surgery. <laughs> On your voice? I take the hormones because I like the flavor. <laughs> Oh no! Wow. Not this guy! <laughs> wow! Oh no! It it's, it's it's the woke bastard. It's woke bastard! I'm dead sexy. No, I'm you're woke not woke bastard. No, you're not woke bastard. Yes, there's nothing sexy about you. There's okay? no place for that body negativity here. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Evil. You're, you're too fat to be lovable, okay? That's not true. Being hot is everybody type. <laughs> Don't listen to what the patriarchy tells you. Wow, I didn't... Well, that's true. That is... Yeah, that's a good point. I'm what, hot. I'm dead sexy. <laughs> what I don't understand is the difference between fat bastard and woke bastard. <laughs> I'm pretty yes. sure they're the same person. I think Fat I Bastard is more uh, like less accepting of his body. Well, exactly. Let me explain. Yeah, yeah. You might not know because you're not. A, even though they weren't, you weren't in the scene. There's a very emotional scene where Fat Bastard's sad about being fat. No more. <laughs> now I love my body. I love my curves. I know that just because society says I'm disgusting doesn't mean I'm not lovable. Yes, yeah. it does, actually. Take it okay. back. What you should do is get a tiny clone of yourself that might weigh a fuckable weight. Oh, are you talking about a baby? I, yes. <laughs> so everyone is going to get a clone in your socialist utopia? In my oh. socialist utopia, oh. yes. Everyone gets oh. their own baby. Now they're going to be cool. baby-sized. <laughs> I'll tell you something, guys. If I had a clone, I just would not stop 69 with a clone. <laughs> you answer the question. Are they well, going to be baby That's size? why you get a tiny clone. Oh, because oh, you can't reach. It has oh, to suck your disgusting. dick, but you don't have to suck like it. Like the size of a baby. Oh, like a shrunken clone. I love eating babies. So, is Austin Powers still at large? Did you, did you win, or did he, he win? I don't... Austin Powers has actually been replaced... Uh, there's really? A, I have a new uh, foe powers. by the name of Autism Powers. Autism <laughs> not Powers. Too. Yes. Wow. He sounds pretty cool. Adam, don't you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> not really. I don't have to go to the bathroom. I mean, I can go to the bathroom. I have oh, a call, look. actually. I'm getting a call. Oh, wow. Adam's really good at improv. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> going to the, I'm getting a call. I got to go, and then... I'll be right back in one second. I just don't want to be the only host here. Well, just go. We'll okay, hold I'll down go. the fort. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, no. It's autism, autism power. Do trains make you horny, baby? 
Yeah, he's a light, lot like Austin Powers, except he's uh, mentally retarded. <laughs> and I have absolutely no sexual desire for women, baby. That's that's essentially what the character is. But you're lovable. Just just because you're retarded doesn't mean you can't have love. Well, hold on a second, woke bastard. You're not allowed to say the R word. <laughs> I'm doing it uh, uh, ironically. Oh, okay, that's fine. Because I'm woke, it's okay. Yeah, baby, that's not very woke of you, baby. I mean, you might want to, you might want to stop that, baby. Woke is. You barely know how to tie your shoes. Can I? T- uh. <laughs> uh. Anyway, baby, I. I was at home memorizing every line to every episode of Goon Girls. <laughs> When I heard my arch nemesis, Dr. Evil, was on the Come Down P cast. And I'm here to, to arrest you, Evil. Uh oh. Yeah, arrest him for yeah. his crimes against the blogosphere. I, frankly, I've done nothing against the autistic community. I don't understand the hatred autism powers. Listen, all of. Uh, all of you. <laughs> What's wrong with autism powers? <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble with your voice oh, over there? I think maybe autism oh, powers yeah. ate too many edibles before the podcast. <laughs> no, baby. I've never smoked weed in my life, baby. I'll tell you what I have eaten, though. Is it pussy? Is no, it, is baby. It pussy? That's repulsive, baby. A human pussy. <laughs> No, baby. I didn't know this stereotype about the autistic that they hated sex. I eat train <laughs> pussies, baby. <laughs> yeah, trains don't have pussies, autism. Well, that's just a matter of perception, baby. <laughs> wow. I get in the caboose and I eat that train pussy all <laughs> not long, baby. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I've got to go. I've got evil plans <laughs> oh, I have no. to attend to. Dr. Evil, good greetings as far as I'm concerned. Thank no. you for having me. I say I goodbye. I gotta let you go, baby, without arresting you, baby. <laughs> say goodbye I gotta to put you in jail, baby. Stavros. Autism jail, baby. And Adam and We'll jail. tell him. To uh, when okay, thank back. you. Who's a Stavros? Well, there goes Dr. Evil. It's well, just it's me and just you. us, baby. You let him off the ho- <laughs> hook? <laughs> You let him off the hook? Here I am, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, baby. Sister. It's Caitlyn Jenner, baby. <laughs> Surprise, girls. Here I am. It's an easier impression to do. <laughs> it sounds a lot like Dr. Evil, baby. <laughs> Maybe it's very similar, but I'm... Uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing. Caitlyn, yeah. you're a hero. Thank you. Can I just say you're beautiful? Uh, I agree with that. You're a beauty. I've had a lot of surgeries to make this happen. Thank you. I'm attracted to you sexually. You know okay, I- well, I have to go now, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I thought I was getting somewhere. Yeah, baby. Well, I, I, I have to go, uh, I have to go fuck a train, baby, so... <laughs> Wow. So, so I'm going to go, too. but uh, uh, Woke Bastard... Uh, it's me, Woke Bastard. Yeah, keep it, keep it 100. Uh, I will do that. All right, bye. Oh, hey, guys. I'm, I'm back from the rape convention. Oh, it's Nick Marlin. Uh, and Woke Bastard is also leaving. I've got to go now, even though... Because I hate... And because I hate Nick Mullen. Fuck, I lost the accent. <laughs> and a scene. <laughs> Guys, that Guys, was actually from the play Hamilton. That if was a play. Seen, <laughs> you haven't seen the play there Hamilton There were yet. no actors It's here. a deleted it scene us. from Hamilton. That was all black people doing that. <laughs> um, it's going to rhyme. That's a rough draft. Hamilton rough draft. Uh, you know, give it a couple more weeks. And, you know, that Lynn, uh, what's his face? Is really Manuel, gonna have that. baby. Lynn Manuel yeah. Samantha. He's going to hammer out the kinks in that. Mm-hmm. Um, have any of you seen Hamilton? Um, no, no. I, I, uh, I, I saw the, a performance. That I guess I, sh- I should also just say it's good to be back, guys. Oh, yeah, how was wow, the rape joke was convention? convention? Um, it was pretty good. Um, they tried to get me fired. Somebody oh sent God. an email to the rape joke convention. Who was it? Old Sadie. 
Uh, yeah, it was Sadie and then a bunch of other, uh, wow. you know, just like angry people online. They said that, uh, they sent him an email and said, like, this guy does rape jokes. He thinks it's like funny to choke women. Wow. Um, that's actually a direct quote for me. I said that <laughs> at some point. I don't remember saying it, but apparently I said that. You said that it's, you said funny. it's funny to I, choke You know, women. I didn't think, I didn't think I did, but a journalist tweeted that I said that. So I guess it must be true. That's I, probably true. Top three, um, banana peel on the ground, uh, choking a woman. And uh, hitting the balls, obviously. Yeah, hitting the balls. Sure. Hitting the ball. uh, and then the trifecta where um, a woman slips on a banana peel <laughs> and her vagina falls into a guy's crotch. And so <laughs> he has the pain of being hit in the balls, but he's also raping the woman. <laughs> and that is uh, the funniest thing. Yeah, yeah. The funniest. They did a study that's historically the funniest joke that translates yeah. across all that Actually, that joke was written by the Japanese in World War II. They killed a ton of GIs yeah. from laughter. They died well, that's, laughter. that's That yeah, yeah. move is actually how the Russians won the 1980 Olympics. The gold <laughs> they gymnastics. Did. Yeah. They coordinated it. Um, so Lana Sharanka, she, you know, she put out the banana peel and everyone's like, what is she doing? This is going to be fucking ridiculous. And she did. And then, uh, and then yeah, she she pulled it off with her partner. Uh, Igor uh, Fuck suck Lee kids off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Igor suck kids off. Igor, Igor suck kids off. With a V uh, at the yeah, end. With a yeah. V. It's, it's pronounced off, but it's a v- so kids That's off. what I said. Yeah, yeah. My name is Igor suck kids <laughs> off. Oh, Igor's here. I'm here now. <laughs> 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 they wow. Skyped me and do the... <laughs> The audio I, fidelity in my <laughs> headphones is just perfect. Uh, oh no, Igor's gotta go. Oh, oh goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon the characters are just gonna be one second, like just the name, and then yeah. Bye. Yeah. Oh, good night, everybody. I'm retarded. See you later. <laughs> Who was that, that was guy? The Australian <laughs> retard. I've got a good one. Hold on. I gotta go. I've got the trans hatter. <laughs> Hello, I'm the trans hatter. <laughs> You're not allowed to call me ugly anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Legally, you have to say I'm beautiful. <laughs> Man, you're only allowed to do impressions of Caitlyn. <laughs> What's it's that? It's mean because she's rich. That's the only trans. It's Caitlyn, bitch. Right. Here I am, bitch. Here um, I am, bitch. Here we are, the real trans wives of Target bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reality show, one of the bitch. We're all here in the bathroom for a big birthday bitch celebration. We're cutting Miranda's balls off. There's like a family coming in. They're like, get out of here. We're having mimosas. <laughs> and Target has to sponsor it. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, the well, rape joke convention was great, um, awesome, but man. you know they sent all those emails trying yeah. to get me fired, and I was just going to go attend, and then they let me be the keynote speaker. Oh, that's awesome! So I gave wow. a shout out to Come Town, and uh, I've noticed there were an additional eighty million downloads last yeah, week. Yeah, we're making a lot of money off. Dude, of Dude, yeah, we've got the the Patreon. Pa- I said I used to call it Patreon. Like General mm-hmm. Petraeus. Petraeus. <laughs> yeah, he Petraeus. was sucking and fucking That's how slide. I thought you pronounced it. And then somebody laughed at me and I was like, yeah, you know, that's not a word. They made up that yeah. fucking word for the Patreon. Comp- pa- yeah, pa- Patreon, Patreon. Like a patron. Like yeah. a patron, right. But yeah. they couldn't call it patron because somebody already owned that. So uh, has anyone sent us money for whatever this podcast yeah, is? Yeah, every episode we're making about seven, $7,000, $7 million. That's not bad. It's Can not we bad. like grow? From we there. should tell the listener at home what we're gonna do with the money. So uh, we're not just gonna waste. Well, it goes money. to my crippling Ferrari addiction <laughs> and Adidas addiction. I'm addicted too. to Ferraris. So yeah. I, I melt them down. For real though, we will buy custom come town track, track, suits, track suits man 100 percent. oh if, my god if you well, give us money we will yeah adidas wouldn't make them because they have refused to acknowledge my presence on the internet damn it, no matter how many times i tweet at them or send threatening emails to their <laughs> <laughs> customer service department we could get that shit and just sew on like a come town patch on the back or something that's what we should do and then yeah, we should sell those at 800 you know or nine thousand percent markup or whatever of course. I'm down. That's why don't we get fake bootleg shit and make that? Our... Now we're talking. Yeah. Why don't Dude. we get Kooji tracksuits? Okay. And then put the Come Town logo on them. I'm done. We'll we'll talk about this more. Uh, no, these know, are all. What's that? Cosby is like a majority shareholder of Kooji and private prison industry. That makes sense. No, I just made it up. Oh. <laughs> what if he ends up in his own prison? <laughs> and then he's the hero of the prison. Do <laughs> you think anyway, people are like, I hope Cosby goes to jail. It's like he would be the king there. There's <laughs> no way that they wouldn't. Abs- everyone in prison would love Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the greatest time. Of, uh, his life would end beautifully. People would be bringing him cigarettes and Doritos from commissary or whatever. <laughs> That'd be great. Hey, Bill, how's it going? 
You're the reason I almost didn't end up in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you just stop with the cuss words. Oh, my yeah. God. Bill Cosby's here, everybody. <laughs> I was at a restaurant <laughs> with my Christ. wife. <laughs> restaurant? Uh, and she said, if you just stop with the cuss words and the raping, God the women, damn. and the jalom, the oh, no. pudding. Bill Cosby had to I go. had to go, yeah. I mean, Cosby, okay. It's uh, me, everybody, the oh, other yeah. Bill Cosby. That's better, yeah. The, 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 I'm more at the Cosby that you remember from growing Liar. up as a kid. Oh, Why oh. are you doing an impression of me? <laughs> Right now, <laughs> I'm not doing it. All right, <laughs> Professor Doctor Emirates, I'm not fucking do. Let's <laughs> well, <it's me>, Bill <laughs> Cosby. <laughs> oh, it's me. I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm Trim. We should just bring the those oh, boy, uh, French, French guys. Good, <laughs> <laughs> the French guys. Guys, guess how long this episode's been so far? Six minutes. <laughs> Twenty minutes. That's so not fast. bad. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Can um, I can I talk to you guys about something that's been fucking me up sure okay so i looked at the forbes richest people in the world list right mm-hmm. yeah number one easy billy bill gates right he's number mm-hmm. one bill gates okay. no yeah. it's carlos slim no I thought it was, carlos yeah. slim number four he dropped down according to the I current it was slim carlos according to no. the current carlos current forbes list slim carlos is the guy from the wire carlos oh, yeah. slim <laughs> is the guy that invented slim jim slim, slim charles slim charls that's Jesus, what, like that's not, what, it's like you're not, you don't even know Bob Charles Rose. and Carlos are the same name. I happen to watch it's The like Wire on Univision in translated. <laughs> I didn't you have... You watched it in Yiddish? <laughs> <I> <laughs> it. Slim Carlos. <laughs> Slim Carlos. Avon yeah. I'm sorry that I watched it in Spanish, so it could be, it seemed more real to me. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I decided to change their ethnicity. Guys, this is a working like, theory of mine, but the star of The Wire, do you know who that was? Um, the S- white, All the white characters. The city, city of Baltimore. Baltimore. City of All the white characters is funnier though. <laughs> <laughs> All the guys that season two of The Wire, aka season one uh, of Do you know one Frank, of The Wire. Frank Sabatka, <laughs> season two was like uh, like thirty one years old. Yeah, but he played like a fifty five year old. That's guy. what happens, man. If you go bald, if you go young, bald, you, if you go bald you young. Old. You're fucking thirty eight yeah, years yeah. old until you die. Um, yeah. Except me, like I'm the exception. But yeah, you guys wait, are right. Forbes you dress like an idiot. <laughs> Forbes list. Yeah, no, I dress cool. You're right. You could yeah. play old man. Forbes list. No, I Number one, young, Bill Gates. Too. Number four, Carlos Slim. Number two, I thought Warren Buffett. Right. But here's the here's the trick. Right. There's no Oprah. number three. There is. So everyone's looking Buffett. for number three and they can't find it. There's only four millionaires running around the school. All right. <laughs> school. Well, that's where you do that prank. I don't know. Yeah. The pigs. Warren Buffett three. <laughs> Who's the number two richest guy in the world according to Forbes right now? Uh, P. Diddy. You the, told me already, Master so I'm not going to answer. It's the guy who owns Zara, the store. What? The guy who owns that, Zara. What and is I that? Looked up his, like, I looked up his bio, and basically the only thing he's ever done is owned Zara. Zara's like a sh- like he has, forever 21. He has almost shit. as much money as Bill Gates. He has more money than Warren Buffett. That's insane. What is that store? Just like a ladies... It's like a shit... It's like H&M. Oh, really? It's like... But it's owned by this guy. It, it makes absolutely no sense. How like shitty pants. Yeah. He has almost as much money as Bill Gates. Like, Bill Gates brought the personal computer <laughs> to people's <laughs> homes. The most like important invention. No, that was invention. Al Gore, dude. Okay, fine. Al Gore yeah. invented computers and the internet. That's right. And getting sucked off outside. He was the first guy to ever get yeah, sucked yeah, off yeah. outside was Al Gore. I invented... I can't even get anywhere close to <laughs> I invented... I can't <laughs> stop... I off. can't stop thinking about how the fuck this is possible. How much money that makes? The Zara guy being the second well, richest... Well, did he have money? Maybe he had money from something else. It was probably real estate or he something. Owns or he's a Habsburg. The t- he owns the textile. Have you seen that... that uh, there's like a... Like a, a not like a conspiracy theory, but there's a meme that goes around. Yeah. It's like... Um, one Jewish bank owns every bank. <laughs> One Jewish family owns every bank. It's like the oh Ross yeah, Charles, that's the, the protocols Charles. of the elders yeah, yeah, of Zion. No, yeah, it's yeah. like five families. Uh, no, there's a thing going around saying that the Rothschild family oh, owns every national bank in the entire yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. which, they which do. you know, it's true. But like, why would you, you know, remind people of that? Do you know what my point? reggae band is called? No, this is gonna be good. The protocols of the elders of Zion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's these all, guys sound cool. It's dude. all. <laughs> they smoke weed. <laughs> 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 All Jewish banking people uh, in my in cool. my reggae band. Zion the Lion. Zion. Um, 
Anyway, uh, yeah. So, but like the reason I was looking at the the Forbes list is because I wanted to know if Donald Trump was even the richest guy named Donald in the world. No shot. There's three other Who Donalds richer than him. I don't know, but they're fucking. They got so much money. Well, Donald you would Trump's have to if rich, your name's Donald. You have to be a millionaire. There isn't an Adam in the top one thousand richest people in the world. Good fuck that shit. Stop. Yeah. But there are like 20 Donalds. Well, maybe if your fucking name was Donald or Carlos Slim or some... Carlos Slim's a tight name. There's a Russian yeah, that oligarch <laughs> that I saw on the list. There's a Russian guy who yeah. has an insane amount of money. Igor sucked kids off. Yeah. <laughs> Igor sucked kids off. No, his first he name... He capitalized off that gold medal fame. Yeah. His first name is literally God. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's like God... Sarnaev or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sarnaev. Yo, can we talk about how that Sarnaev guy not guilty? Y'all got to feel me though. What uh, what happened? Uh, joke Jokar uh, Sarnaev. He the got Boston. not guilty. No, I just don't think he's guilty. Uh, oh, just oh some, I you're, thought you you're, meant they had a trial and he was <laughs> no. somehow. I missed that. he's not guilty. It's too beautiful. <laughs> no, first of all, you can't be a stoner and be a terrorist. It's not possible. That's just <laughs> are you going into a Tom Myers yeah, bit Are you now? working out bits? What the <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. are you talking no, about? Let me <laughs> ask you this. Did, did Jahar have a bong hit transplant? <laughs> I mean, you'll be... You listen, you're telling me he's going to hit the bong and then get up and <laughs> do plans? I don't think so. You're telling me my I'm man's going to take a toke? <laughs> yeah, on his way to the, on his way to the, the blueprints, he's going to see a bag of Cheetos and that's it, my friends. <laughs> the most good... <laughs> Yeah, Tom Myers. <laughs> I think someone that's never smoked weed talking with authority about weed yeah. is the funniest thing in the entire world. <laughs> so, like, bragging about well, the funniest thing Tom Myers ever did. Back to Tommy. Yeah. Fuck, I was going to do some research about shows. That's going to have to be next. Oh, yeah, podcast. we'll do that later. But the funniest thing Tom Myers ever did is when he did that CD taping. Yes, um, I love it. He was doing a bit, and I forget what the bit was, but he sort of just casually mentioned it while he was on stage that his parents already have a grave for him <laughs> next, <laughs> next to them. Next to them. Next to them. <laughs> <laughs> They've already decided this motherfucker isn't yeah. gonna have a family. Do you know, yeah. I bought that CD online just so I could hear Stav laughing. <laughs> <laughs> still have you're it. exaggerating laughing. I think it's on my computer. I'm surprised that it didn't it get soon. fucked up because Mike Turpin the whole time was like stomping his foot down <laughs> yeah. on the ground. He's like, ha ha, look, doing this exaggerated laughing. And Mike and he, Turpin, yeah. Mike Turpin's a, a, a giant. He's like, yeah. He's like a power lifter or power whatever. Lifter, MMA guy. Yeah. Like. Well, the guy squats like a thousand pounds. <laughs> so he's like just, just smashing his massive foot against the ground, like fucking up the recording equipment. <laughs> the Tom had to ask his parents to <laughs> rent for him. I'm a, like, listen, guys. We, when Bernie drops out, we will be one step closer to Tom Myers eating that pussy. Yeah. Well, and I'm that's writing. The only reason I'm, I'm writing that it. in on the ballot. Tom Myers has to eat the pussy. <laughs> And that's I'm voting, voting Hillary for. only if Tom Myers eats the puss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we should definitely. Make we should get a clip and, that. and throw that in in the shit. Yeah. Oh, definitely. We That'll be do. the break. Yeah. It's going to be the Tom Myers Ed Schrader Tom Myers clip. Stuff. Um, fuck. What was I going to say? I had some another Tom Myers story. You were talking about the graves. Talking He's also graves. an announcer oh, at no. a at a children's that's, baseball that's field. Funny, but yeah. what was the best part about that CD taping is Tom actually has fans, and I remember these like two weird guys from Newcastle, Delaware. What? Yeah, these two weird Are you guys. Fucking uh, yes, kidding? I'm serious. These two like with, like this guy whose proportions were all fucked up. He was like you know just fat and wide, a Reddit guy with a weird like witch hat. I remember that yeah, guy. Yeah, and the long Fuck. hair. And he came all the way from Newcastle. I guess it's not that far away from it's Bel Air, but still, yeah. Any, I mean, anything it's, longer than it's the one fact, block. The fact that Tom Myers has a fan. Yeah, it's but just, it's like that makes sense. That that's who would be. The, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just the most off-brand Reddit guys. Like not even cool in the Reddit world. Yeah, would he? <laughs> Like, he, he's intimidated by guys that wear Bazinga shirts. <laughs> like he's like, oh, they're looking at me. I hope they ask me to sit with them. 
<laughs> Holy shit, imagine being on the low end of that totem pole, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst. Oh, remember that Mexican Reddit guy we <laughs> yeah, saw yeah, at the yeah. pool hall? Yeah, no. yeah, he was uh, wearing a fedora we, and a bazinga yeah, shirt. Yeah, we were shooting pool like a year ago, <laughs> and there was this fucking guy, uh, it was like a Mexican guy with another Mexican guy, and he's wearing a bazinga shirt, and he's got a fedora on, they're speaking Spanish And I think he other. was vaping, or he was, there was another element. Yeah, there was a third element. Like suspenders like vaping or, or vaping or yeah, something? Yeah, there was a third Reddit, and stuff. I was like, this is just like a Mexican Reddit guy. <laughs> And we're, he's just speaking Spanish, so the whole thing's like, yeah. eh, Los uh, Feminismo es eh, uh, Cancera. <laughs> El Feminismo. <laughs> it was awesome, dude. Es <laughs> la cancer. And the guy with him was just like in a, like, just Mexico <laughs> soccer t-shirt. Like, it was just, he was clearly just, I don't well, know, Mexico, it, was, it was incredible. Yeah, he got bullied out of Mexico. <laughs> yeah. That's why he came here. He, he had made fun of so hard in Mexico, he had to come across the border. I was just remembering the other day, I saw, uh, I miss uh, I miss watching black teens harass people. Oh, the best. I was on a, a, um, a bus when I was like 17, and uh, there was these three black teenagers uh, harassing this middle-aged black woman who was like kind of overweight and they were just making fun of her feet. Oh, and, geez, yeah. Yeah, like, and so they're like, uh, ah, bitch, your feet look like Shrek three. <laughs> like, just a, w- a, a woman. They just wasn't a, talking. Yeah, to wasn't talking. Oh, about. Like, bitch, your feet look like Shrek three. <laughs> your toes look like fucking rotten grapes. Oh. And she's sitting there and just like, you know, stoically looking ahead, trying to ignore them. And there's like tears streaming. No. Down her face, oh, like Denzel shit. and glory. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no. And that was like a classic moment of bullying. <laughs> That is some fucking very good shit. I I saw I heard this this one lady bullying another lady on the streets yesterday. She's like, "Where'd you get that dress? Century twenty <laughs> two? That doesn't even make any sense." Yeah. Well, it's not Century twenty one. It's the knockoff. It's well, it's twenty two is better. It's from, it's from the future. That's true. <laughs> well, I like that Century twenty one is like the place that's not forever twenty one. Yeah, it's a sh- it's close to forever, but it's a shorter amount of time. Yeah. A century sounds like a long time, but it's certainly not forever. Not forever, baby. And that's the bit, folks. That's pretty good. Woo! That's, why don't you bring that that's one to the hey, process? Mind. You that's know what? I for- think terrorists. Could never be potted. <laughs> I think so too. Should we do I a break? I think so too. Uh, Let's do yeah, no, nah, we hit we hit thirty minutes, so first half pee. is a Would success, it? and then yeah, I got to get more coffee. We'll be back in we'll a back minute, in a folks. Sec, Enjoy the Tom Myers bit. I'm Don Shipley, that phony Navy SEAL, the weak guy, and geez, have I been getting beaten up with emails about some picture, some chief posed with Hillary Clinton at one of her rallies or some stuff. Out of all the phony seals that I've ever busted, I have never been wrong because I check, double check, and triple check, double check, double check, and triple check, and triple check, and I make it my business to know awards, uniforms, buds, databases, classified shit, claims, seal, buds, databases, classified shit, seal, claims, uniforms, all of it. And some of you guys went nuts when I started getting off of YouTube and starting my own video website. And the reason I did it, putting stolen valor on the map, new laws enacted that guys can't get away with this stuff. Posed with Hillary Clinton at one of her rallies or some salary. So it's an election year. It's an election year. You guys all excited about this election coming up? Yeah! Yeah! Actually, me, me, I'm an Obama person, but me, I kind of, part of me kind of wants Hillary Clinton to take the Oval Office. Woo! No, 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 okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. What's the first thing Hillary Clinton's going to do when she gets in office? Get back, get back, no, get back at Bill for all the shit he pulled. That's why I'm going to apply to be an intern. <laughs> I quit smoking the I quit smoking though, so I don't know if that'll affect my shot, but uh. Good morning Vietnam I killed myself because I have Parkinson's <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, wow, Robin Williams was in studio. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts. The characters. The characters app continues. The characters will not stop coming today, guys. Uh, nobody stops coming, baby. This is Comtown. Comtown. Sploosh, sploosh, uh, sploosh. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd smoke so much weed. My cum got THC in it. I smoke my cum. Um, I'm so stoned, man. <laughs> All right, um, guys, we got to talk about something for a second. What's wrong, Nikki boy? Um, so, I mean, I don't want to like confront you guys or make it seem like it's your responsibility or anything. Or <laughs> what? I mean, okay. Well, a couple of times I've stepped out of the room. Yeah, and while I've been gone, um, you've let other people on the show, which well, I'm fine with. What are we supposed to do? It's man? supposed to be we an open room. Three. I get yeah. that. There's always an open door. Everyone knows that. Well, there's one guy in particular. Um, apparently, there's this Seth Dickfield guy. Ah, uh, Seth. Sure. That comes on the show. Yeah. Which I have no problem with, but um, yeah, I found out that apparently um, that's supposed to be like a cruel impression. Oh God. Of this guy that uh, that blocked me on Facebook a while back. <laughs> he blocked who, me this week. Friend of yours? Well, no. I mean, he's he'll he'll talk to me as if we're friends whenever uh-huh. he uh, you know has like a complaint or something that he sure. wants from me. But for the most part, no, we're not friends, and he's uh, uh, I'm a slime bag. Oh my uh, gosh! According to him, and Good the, Lord. so you know, it's kind oh, of like an no. issue. So we shouldn't really be addressing him on the show now. I don't buy it. I think he's like blowing this out of proportion. I really mm-hmm. don't see the similarities. I mean, he's they're both named Seth. Sure, and yeah. they kind of have the same opinions, but. The, you know, this the, this Seth has round glasses, and Seth Dickfield, from what I know, has square glasses. Square glasses. Square. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a big. That's a key thing about the Seth Dickfield. Yeah, you wouldn't uh, fuck character. that up. You you know, if you're going to do an impression of somebody, Absolutely. you'd at least get the glasses right. right so right, yeah. right, right, right. Um, Especially on a podcast. Yeah. So I mean, guys, at most, like maybe like six or seven more times, you can let him come <laughs> okay. on. Okay. But okay. Any more that's than it. that. You know, I mean, I okay. Really don't it's want really it to be upsetting this guy that is also named Seth. Yeah, he's also named Seth. I guess that's really. In, in, if anyone named Adam is like, a, like a fucking a mean character, like I'm gonna get offended by that. That's like bullshit. So wait we, a second. We yeah. don't need to well, give he, in. Look, to that. you need to understand is that this other guy, Seth, did this something happen? Uh, well, he he has PTSD. Oh no. Um, which um, you know, I mean, he wasn't like a veteran or anything. But apparently, like growing up, people would make fun of him sometimes, oh. which, you know, nobody experiences that. That's not <laughs> a thing that a- anyone else has to deal with. It's it's no, really it's just cruel. him. So it gave him PTSD. He's basically a... Uh, post-traumatic suck oh, Wait, dick. this yeah. guy yeah. coming post, on? Post, post uh, being teased by Seth Dickfield. <laughs> <laughs> post-traumatic <laughs> Seth Dickfield. <laughs> P-T-S-C. Podcast, P- it stands for podcast triggering Seth Dickfield. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different type of PTSD. <laughs> Jeez, we're okay. upsetting a lot of people. I think. Well, maybe. Well, the, maybe the thing about this maybe. podcast is that, like, I don't know if people l- like this or not, but it's kind of been a platform for us to just make fun of people we know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Not like necessarily even famous people or mm-hmm. you know well known mm-hmm. people. Um, well, it's maybe though, yeah, punching, how about this? punching laterally, guys. I don't believe in <laughs> punching up or down. Just you punch, the left punch to the front and to the right. That's what Ali did, and that's yeah, you know, Ali. R-I-P. That's who, why he's um, the greatest. B- 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 yeah, was the greatest. Seth uh, actually, you know, said uh, last week, if you're not hip to Muhammad Ali, <laughs> oh it's God. not too late. Wait, on Facebook? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you say that? <laughs> if you're not hip to, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> is he in the room? Um, uh, well, maybe. How about this for a solution? We just have him. On and um, we'll hash it out. Well, you know? I asked him. He, you know, he was blowing up my phone the other day, and he was like, um, "What did you say about me?" And I was like, <laughs> "I didn't say anything, dude. We, you've never come up once." Which is a, that voice sounded a, very different to the Seth. Yeah, Dickfield he's voice. like yeah, a. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't really know Seth Dickfield, but he's like, hey, everybody, how are you doing? <laughs> Which and is the not, other Seth is yeah. like, here I am, it's me, Seth. <laughs> and Those said, are two different. Night and day. Night and day, yeah. yeah. That's true. Um, you know, similar accents because they're from the same exact place and they're the same age. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they would have had a similar, if not mm-hmm. identical, Louisiana. Oh, so they, yeah. they know each other. <laughs> 
Uh, you know, weirdly really, enough, I don't think they do. It'd be do. really interesting to get round them in a room glasses, together. Round glasses, square glasses. Get them in a room together glasses. to talk sometime in the future. We should maybe I, see if I, we can't I asked that. him if he, you know, because he, like, he was like, what did you say about me? And I said, I didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I, I don't know this Seth Dickfield yeah. guy. So, I, you know, I can't answer for what another man says. You know, sure. I have integrity. Absolutely. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to put words in somebody else's mouth, you know. That's messed up to do. That's totally fucked it, up. If, you know, to go around just like <laughs> almost doing an impression. <laughs> a caricature of someone. Yeah, I wouldn't do something like that. We know that, that no, about that's you, a, And that's why we started a podcast together. Yeah, because right. we're friends. Because I care about my friends and I appreciate my friends and the mm-hmm. diversity of opinions that my friends may or may Absolutely, not have. Absolutely, I agree 100%. Regardless of whether they block me on Facebook because <laughs> I made fun of one female Ghostbusters post <laughs> eight, eight months ago. <laughs> what was the post? It was, I don't know. He goes, he was writing. He's like, uh, he's like, um, I oh get get a load of this. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm in a coffee shop the other day. Of course he is. He just sits in coffee yeah, yeah. shops working on projects that'll never fucking go anywhere. Just oh, what is it? it's a two what? hour movie that's all puns. I bet I guarantee you that's what he was writing. About. Was fucking mole scan. <laughs> like, I'm in a coffee shop the other day and I hear this guy. He's talking about. Uh, He's on the phone with his pal, and he like transcribes this guy's like you know thirty uh, minute conversation for his Facebook for his Facebook about how oh wait, and this is back be- uh, before he was uh, Bernie guy that you know mm. oh oh uh, it's uh, this guy's complaining because he's saying oh it's sexist if you complain about Hillary Clinton uh, news for you pal it probably is and you know that kind of shit and he's right. like and then he doesn't even stop there he's say going on to say it's like they have they have to have a female Ghostbusters now it's like why do the girls have to have every Everything and then it closes the quotation. Then his line at the end is, uh, uh, "Look out, ladies! There's a new MRA sheriff in town." Oh <laughs> God! <laughs> and when you say MRA sheriff, the image that pops in my head, partially due to autism, probably is. Yeah. Uh, you remember in Mario Party Two, <laughs> where you can get like there are like, there's like cowboy level, no. but it's the cowboy <laughs> Wario is what. <laughs> that's what I think. He's the MRA. <laughs> <laughs> MRA Sheriff is Cowboy there's Wario. Gotta be so, there's got to be on the internet somewhere. What? Cowboy Picture Wario. Cowboy Wario? Yeah, unfortunately, when I went half of your followers, also video. Half of your followers, AVIs or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so I guess, yeah, I guess wanted to, you know, just bring that up and, you know, let you guys know that, you know, maybe, maybe prevent that guy okay. from talking well, too much shit. Um, well, future, open we invitation won't. to this other Seth anytime you want to come on. Yeah. You hash it out. You don't really. You don't even have to unblock me on Facebook. I was following you because you followed me, really. So. Oh, he blocked you on Facebook or on uh, Twitter. Oh. I haven't been blocked yet, but I'm sure after this podcast, probably. Yeah. Um, well, if you want to sneak into his mentions, the key is uh, replying to anything Talib Quayle <laughs> tweets because <laughs> Seth will defend his opinions <laughs> against anyone that dare trolls Talib. <laughs> How dare you say that to Talib? <laughs> <laughs> Real hip hop. God damn. Uh, I love you, Talib. <laughs> it just, and you know, I, I, what I love it, you know what it's so fucked up is he doesn't understand how funny he is. He's yeah. amazing. He's one of the he's funniest incredible. people in the fucking world, and he just doesn't get but it's why just he's not funny. on purpose. Funny. Yeah, no, it's That's ridiculous. He is funny, though. It's stand up, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Okay, well, I don't know. I saw him at an open mic once. He was very funny. That's all I can say. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, for yeah, for somebody who's been doing comedy sixteen years, yeah, <laughs> funny. I didn't. Nick, you're not helping. <laughs> okay, <I'm kidding. laughs> he's no. very funny, and we'd love to talk with him because he's so funny, and we want him to defend himself. You're pandering too much, dude. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It's it's a delicate line. You oh, you almost have to neg him into it. Mm. You know, you got to treat him like a woman. <laughs> but you're trying the only to, way to treat women. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <It's an egg laughs> yeah. I think uh, we're all in agreement there. Absolutely. Uh, so, and I guess uh, from the Brandon Ward L corner, who oh, yeah. isn't a character. That's just uh, Brandon's our friend who's big. 
been yeah. the most remarkably successful out of well, any of And us. that's, you know why, is because Brandon's a fucking retard, <laughs> and he, no offense to real retards, <laughs> you know, I know there's like issues with the word, but, uh, you know, Brandon's a fucking idiot, but he acknowledges that, like any right. fucking comedian. Like, I know I'm an idiot, and I fight, say and do dumb shit all the mm-hmm. time, and you have to have a sense of humor about it, otherwise, like, why are you even doing this? Right. And that's why Brandon's successful. To score chicks. It's because his, all of his content is fucking dog shit. <laughs> you know, his whole, like, Snapchat, it was, he's going to be a Snapchat fucking guy. That's his thing. No, don't say that. I mean, he's funny. <laughs> he's funny. He's funny, but he's also, like, self-aware to an extent. Like, I'll oh, see yeah, people... yeah. He's doing, like, a crackhead teenager character yeah. online. <laughs> but he did, he did try to troll me he's on Instagram. You. Because I think... Well, he told me that he thought it was funny when I did the... Hey guys, uh, uh, Drake uh, Drake had a Pokemon, <laughs> and uh, Big Sean, Big Sean, come in, and he no have sex. <laughs> I like that you make him Asian. Yeah. I make him an Asian baby. <laughs> well, that's kind of what he is. Well, but yeah, he is. He's half Asian. He's half Asian, half Air Force. He colonel. wrote on my <laughs> he wrote on my Instagram, my last Instagram post. Uh, Your light count is embarrassing. It's wild. <laughs> Which isn't even... He getting cyberbullied by Brando Wardell. I really wanted to respond. I stole this picture from Black Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of stealing shit from Black Twitter, did you see the uh-huh. Good Morning America thing? No. Oh, it was awesome. Oh, God. So, yeah, Good Morning America. They, I mean, I feel so dumb doing topical Why? Just stuff. do it. Well, because it's... You know what this is going to be? I'm going to describe it, and then I'm going to go, Isn't that fucking stupid? And then we're going to go, Yeah, that was stupid. Well... We're here, baby. Yeah. No, well, Good Morning yeah, America like deep. tweeted something like, which meme is the most meme fucking something? I don't right, know. Right, right, right. And then they included... Uh, uh, that boy? And it was like, is crying LeBron the next yeah, big meme? Yeah, that was it. Is yeah. crying the Le- next big meme. Watch. Yeah. Yeah, but listen. Yeah, well, then like, the, uh, the, is it that the next uh, crying Jordan? Uh, uh, lizard T hashtag lizard <laughs> T which lizard, is the, I mean, yeah. T lizard yeah, yeah, yeah. is the Kermit it's the Frog Kermit, thing. It's Kermit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, and then smocking that mask thing, which I don't even know what that is. Yeah. I haven't seen that one before. And then some other fucking thing. I don't know. And then somebody wrote, uh, somebody wrote, uh, oh, fuck, was it? Uh, Good Morning America uh, erases or something about stealing the comedic excellence of black Twitter <laughs> by not acknowledging the black Twitter roots of a picture of Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that's that's if th- like, that's if, like, that's. Well, they invented rock and roll and they invented Kermit sipping a Lipton's tea. That's none of my business, though, you guys. If that's what cultural appropriation is at this point, then... Uh, I think it is. Th- what's just stealing a picture? <laughs> stealing is an Good Morning America picture? tweeting a meme that Black <laughs> yeah. Twitter invented? Also, did Good Morning America... Rec- like, they got the memes wrong, right? No, they got them right. Uh-huh. It's actually It's actually more... You know, it's cool that they said uh, tea lizard. Tea lizard is Sobe. Do you remember that that brand? It was like a, a lizard yeah, yeah, themed yeah. tea. I used to drink their energy drink. All Hell the yeah, time. dude! I used to Sobe. get actually. I used to get like crates, Sobe not crates, yourself. but like uh, from Safeway. They had uh, or like Shoppers Food Warehouse. They had like the wholesale yeah, size yeah, yeah. of the Sobe adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> Sobe adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a fucking loser! Yeah, <laughs> no, that was Ride good the shit. lizard, man. Yeah. I love soda. I want to go back to being a soda guy. I've been like really into. Did I mention it last time? The Kmart graphics tees. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you uh, are wearing a Bob Marley. I am shirt wearing a right Bob now. Marley shirt. Yeah, you called. You said I dressed like an idiot earlier. You've been dressing solely in Kmart graphics tees for the next last three weeks. That's the fucking move, dude. I want to find one of these <laughs> like know, Bushwick Normcore parties. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, actually, we just dress normal. That's like the cool thing. And then you mm-hmm. show up wearing like a. Like a like a Suicide Squad Joker fitted tee <laughs> or fitted hat, and like, like the like, newest the Joker Jared memorabilia Leto. there is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the like Jared jo- Leto, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a picture of Jared Leto. Yeah, Joker fitted hat, and see if you can get them to kick you out of the party for wearing K- Kmart clothes. <laughs> like, um, you're not cool in the right way. <laughs> Who has normcore parties though? I don't know. I might have just made it up. I don't think that's the thing. No, nah, Adam, definitely, you have definitely gone yeah, to a party go to where everyone parties. dresses that way. No way. 100%. Probably the one you were at yesterday. What were you telling me about? Oh, yeah. I went to this party, and this girl was uh, there, and I didn't know who she was, and it ended up being uh, 
Lenny Kravitz's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Kravitz? Jenny Kravitz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, No, Zoe, Zoe Kravitz. You're telling me you haven't gone to a party where everyone's wearing just like white tees and like ugly jeans? No, that's Baltimore, dude. Nah, dude. Not, but dude, I mean like the fit. Baltimore, shit. everyone, okay, I don't want to piss people off. Let's do it. B, everyone smells like trash in Baltimore. Oh, dude. I and feel... dresses like poor people from the 90s. Dude, how fucking That's the you. norm core aesthetic. That is true. That is bizarre how that's a thing where they were like, 1998, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> are you, but are you, you're talking about art school kids in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. Micah kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. I mean, all those people are mad cool, too. But that's the that's the aesthetic. They're not that cool. Guys, here's what I want to talk really. about. <laughs> what are you who are you backpedaling for? Yeah, go I ahead, Nick. Know. Um <laughs> Who's excited for the uh new Independence Day? Oh I am. Did they get Will Smith? They didn't. They no. got is that the dude Will Smith's son? Did yeah, he's playing he's Will Smith's playing, son. It's not Jaden, but it's a guy yeah. playing Will Smith's Will Smith son. actually picked Suicide Squad over Independence Day too. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. Are you offended? Uh yeah, I mean I don't think Suicide Squad is gonna be good. I th- I'm excited for Independence Day too. You're excited for it? I'll yeah. see it, but I'm not excited for it. Well, the first one was so good. That's like the first time I've been earnestly like excited about a, a sequel or a remake in a while. You think it'll be good? Yeah, of course it will. I think it'll be fun. It'll be fucking shit exploding and shit like that. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. The guy that plays Will Smith's son though sucks so hard. Who is it? On the commercial, it's just like today Earth. He just gives. He's just like trying to be like. Fucking, you're trying to give a big speech and it sucks. Like the Bill Pullman one? From, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Today is our Independence Day. <laughs> and then the president just, like, they let him fly. A- <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing, is that he's sick at flying. Yeah. He's a former What if, what if that was his, like, that's what his campaign was? It's like, I don't know shit about anything, but I'm the best at fucking flying. <laughs> <laughs> and then people voted for him. That's, I mean, Dwight Eisenhower didn't know he was a fucking... He was general. a four-star general, dude. Dude, that shit's easy. He was easy a hero. To do. That shit's easy. I could do that shit. No, you couldn't. Easy, dude. Um, okay, well, that went nowhere. What's uh? <laughs> <laughs> what else? No, I think is... it looks gay. You think? You think it looks gay? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, on a scale of one to ten gays, we should have a movie <laughs> review segment. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, that's uh, the gayometer. I mean, that's essentially what Rotten Tomatoes is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Changed. Well, no, it's because it create a widget fresh. For, <laughs> um, <laughs> which changes fresh to gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Hank, the guy that uh, Hank Tomato, the guy that opened uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Hank Tomato. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, he was like a guy that fucks tomatoes. Ah, and so it was like how he ranked movies. The more, the better he liked the movie, the more tomatoes he fucked after yeah, watching yeah. it. <laughs> so if it was a hundred. If he fucked a hundred tomatoes, it was a really good movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. We should have... I was actually looking at um, a review of uh, The Sandlot, a Roger Ebert review of The Sandlot. And he said he trashed it? Uh, no, I mean, it doesn't have like particularly good ratings, but... Uh-huh. Uh, Roger Ebert said he's like um, you're just so like enveloped in the movie that uh, at one point a line drives hit over uh, I don't know the first baseman and I found myself ducking in the theater and reaching up with my mitt but I didn't have a mitt on it's like no you didn't <laughs> yeah <laughs> that absolutely did not happen that's a There's lie no way. completely lying and if you did then you need an MRI you need yeah. like a fucking you need to get your oh, brain yeah. it was like a oh, 3D ride at Disneyland <laughs> yeah. whoa he's a yeah. movie reviewer <laughs> yeah Profe- he watches movies professionally all day long yeah. if anyone is numb to that kind of shit it's him who the fuck is he kidding I thought the baseball was coming out of the movie screen <laughs> I, I'm glad he's dead yeah me too honestly <laughs> did you see that first interview he did when like they got the, they removed the second half the of his job. face the bottom yeah. of his face oh jeez yeah, he yeah, was yeah. just using the uh, like the, the Stephen Hawking machine well he was using like the Mac Talk app yeah yeah and be like hello it's me Roger Ebert <laughs> I feel great or whatever and that video was great because you could just m- make him say whatever you wanted. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, wow. Fuck. Yeah. Have you done that? I did. I made a couple of them <laughs> when I was like 20. Let's make some more. Yeah, we should do Let's that. Let's make some Come Town Originals. Come Town Originals of Roger. Well, how did he die? Did his uh, cancer come his cancer. back? The cancer, yeah. Didn't, that, didn't he get like a jaw that transplant? That documentary for was really beautiful. Sec. 
Yeah, and then, and then it, it rejected. That yeah, sucks, his body dude. rejected it or something. He had a jaw again. For, there was like a day where he thought he was going to be okay. His wife's name is Chaz. That's pretty cool. Is it Chaz Bono? Uh, yeah, it it's is. It's a sassy black lady named Chaz. She's sassy. Um, That's you know who has a I black I love wife? the pictures on like vacation of Chaz's kids and, and like just this fat white guy. <laughs> like, they're such a happy family. It's like all these black people and just this is like portly white, like uh, smiling on a dude. Family in reunion, the Six Flags, <laughs> they get yeah, custom yeah. t shirts made. The Koopa Eba family reunion. They all have the shirts. Two thumbs up. Uh, I think he was a drunk. You know who has a black wife? Is George Lucas, yep. Niro, which too. is hilarious. You know his wife played Jar Jar Binks. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just like, I, wasn't there a conversation in that household at some point where she's like, George, what the fuck is this? No, it's chill because and he's she, like, I told you not to read my scripts. She sanctioned it. <laughs> George, you crazy. <laughs> This Jamaican crazy stereotype, George. <laughs> he was a platypus Jamaican. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it, that's the only like racist against blacks character in Star Wars because pretty much every other, uh, the majority of them are Asian people. Yeah. He found a way to f- like every the single glasses one. lady in the last one. Was that's he had. An they Asian had one. to get. That's a tribute to George Lucas. That's the only hat tip to George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Glasses Asian lady. Alien. It's like one day your destiny gonna be real big. You gonna have real good time destiny. You are you like Rook Skywalker. <laughs> it's like and there's like a shooting star in the background. Mm-hmm. It's like this is for you, George. <laughs> JJ Abrams like points outside the. the Stadium. <laughs> yeah, it'll be big. You get your own lightsaber. You go down basement, fire right saber. You be a real hero, just like Ruth Skywalker. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. Yeah, no, the best one, though, the most racist of all the Star Wars, like, uh, you know, background characters has to be Han Solo's co pilot in Return of the Jedi. No, you. Han Solo or uh, oh yeah, Lando. Lando's yeah, Lando. yeah. He just looks yeah like a f- fat Korean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, and then all he says is like, oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, George Lucas okay, okay. hates Asian people. I think we might be onto something here. Yeah, well, more so because that's how really you can't just say somebody's racist, right? Because nobody has time to. You know, just say like, "Oh, this guy hates." Then he has that defense of like, "Oh, I hate everybody equally, right?" right. You know, yeah, he can just yeah. say he's a uh, what, what's the word, uh, uh, misanthrope. Uh, yeah. But uh, he clearly hates Asians the most, so that's the one you should focus on. Yeah, was sure. he beefing with an Asian actress? Was that who's that sexy Chinese lady who was in Lucy Liu? <laughs> no, Sandra O. Oh? That's to both of them. It so was it's Bai, one of those two. name is Bai Lin or some shit like that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, from Crouching Tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was feuding with her. She, well, she like yeah, with she the wires. Of, she got cut out of the movie or some shit like that. Oh really? Yeah, she was in. She was in it. She was like hunting fucking. I don't fucking know Boba or some shit. Like, I don't know, dude. I was beating off to her once, and that came up in a search. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was like, Did you see they made that Ghost in the Shell movie and like Scarlett Johansson? They cast Scarlett Johansson. And all these idiots on Twitter are like, um, here's who you could have cast instead. That's actually Asian. Uh, B- uh Ba Bing Lao, uh, Ling Zhao Xunzhe, and it's like, <laughs> who the fuck any of these people are? <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's like I know who Scarlett. Johansson is. Maybe I'll go see this stupid fucking anime movie if she's in it. I don't know who. Oh, Ching Chang Sally. It's like, I just, <laughs> Ching Chang <laughs> Sally. <laughs> yeah, she was on a TV show in Korea in 1992, so she should be the star of this blockbuster movie. <laughs> yeah, that one's gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, we should just send that directly to your girl, Sadie. Yeah, Sadie should find out about that. You need to apologize to Sadie about being racist to Asian people. Well, you know, I feel like Sadie could come around. You know, she's the, Doyle's Irish. She's got the the, the <laughs> she, evil in her. You know, <laughs> she has the potential to be as racist as the Listen, rest. Listen, they of us. came over on those boats and they saw those signs that said they need not apply. Yeah, and, and it made they them thought angry. they they thought that meant to life. <laughs> and so they just all became scumbag pieces of shit. Um, but uh, actually, there's that other woman, Feminista Jones. That was fucking hilarious. Somebody started searching her old tweets, and mm-hmm. uh, like 2012, she's like, 
fuck a Chinese people. <laughs> yeah, Asians can't drive. He just straight up said Chinese people can't drive. Asians can't drive, which is like not even is a she joke. Like a Hillary person? Uh, yeah, Hil- well, she's I don't woke as hell. Don't know. Yeah, she's like a woke account though. I so. don't. Ugh. This is but, such a weird group of people that Twitter has uncovered. Well, so yeah, so she is had the all the middle, the militant middle people. Well, hold on. So she goes. She had a tweet on there that was like. Um, I love when you come out of a bathroom and you could tell the bitch that was in there before uh, her pussy stank like a Holocaust shower, which what? is like, that's like my level. Yeah. You know? yeah Seriously. Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of shit that I tweet and I'm like, that's I don't know about this That's extremely online, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and so I kind of had this moment with her where it's like, I don't want to shame her for these old tweets. I just want her to be like, Come back. Yeah, yeah. Let this be your, like, come to Jesus moment. Just give up all this Just shit. Just be a monster Just online. Just fucking do it. You like it. It makes you, probably makes you happy. Yeah. You don't need to be a fucking good person. You need to enjoy your life and take care of your children. Let's reach out to her. Let's get her on the I tried down. to. She blocked me. I added her to one of my irony DMs. Isn't this, like, digging up... Isn't one of these, like, digging... Like, this whole thing about digging up old tweets from accounts is, like... The same thing that we criticize this happens to like SNL people, right? But yeah, we but just SNL do it. You people, just do it to SNL woke people, people aren't online. fucking sanctimonious pieces. That's true. Of shit. I sure. I support doing it to the woke. Yeah, if you're online constantly talking about like you know, uh, fucking going through and criticizing like word choices that people you presumably agree with, like mm-hmm. her tweets at, on that day were all about some Asian guy that wasn't a good enough ally. Ugh. I said something about how like the, like Asian men's like uh, allyship should be you know you should side eye clap back fucking Kermit the Frog at it or hmm. you know, whatever because <laughs> wow. uh, because you know uh, it erases her voice and then you know then immediately people were finding those Asian tweets and she's like whoops <laughs> whoopsie daisy she's like I'm glad I've grown a lot yeah but those are the people retweeting the stories about when a comedian gets fucking yeah, hired and you know which is fucking ridiculous. We'll stay out of that shit. Yeah. You know? No, they did it to Rednitsky or whatever, who yeah. bumped me at the stand last night and crushed. Really? Yeah. That's How's his stand up? Is he he's good? He's good. I, I want to hate him. I want him to like not. But he's did good. he dance? Yeah. He's like 23 or that some shit. That dance thing he like, did on SNL was amazing. I didn't see the dance scene. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's clearly what he auditioned with. It's, yeah. It was pretty incredible. Is it just dancing? No, Is he just Hamilton? does the entire plot of Dirty Dancing with, in a dance. And he's just well. A, how hard is that? It's a dancing movie. He's an electric performer. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he, yeah, he's not a bad stand-up. You thought it was bad? It was fine. I don't know. I thought it's it was just a like bit. I, yeah, I prefer Joe. That's the thing up. is like they they always bring the new guys on who aren't getting enough time to just do their stand-up during weekend update. Right, right, yeah. right. So like that's like he, they did one of those things with him. Yeah, yeah. You know what, guys? We should make our own. SNL with all our crazy characters that we've been coming up with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like Dr. Should, Dr. Evil Dr. and Dr. Evil and Woke Bastard <laughs> and uh, Seth Dickfield and Autism. That'd be good. I, it would, I, I think we'll, we'll see if if we could do like a web series. That might work. That would be funny. You know who makes me we'll horny, baby? Yeah. I'll see that Lois from Family Guy, baby. <laughs> yeah. That would be good to see. You know what? I, what is funny to me is because like... Um, I I mean I'm not like a free speech guy per se, but I do like copyright infringement a lot. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> um, I think you should be able to just fucking steal shit from companies. We oh, should yeah, do that yeah. for sure. You I can't own sued. ideas, people. My, my 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 angle is it's not funny unless you get sued. <laughs> nice, dude. So I know that once Cometown gets to a certain point, we're gonna be getting like a briefcase offer. And they're going to be like the only Jason's thing. going to try and buy it. The only thing that needs to happen you don't is understand. you need to change your name. And Nick is going to be like, guys, let's walk away. First yeah. of all, no one. Oh yeah, we're not changing that. the name. Ever. First <laughs> of all, no one is going to fucking give us like a hundred thousand dollars. It's going to gonna be in a briefcase. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do it. We want to make, make this. We want to make this year. Uh, <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get a hundred thousand dollars for this podcast. NBC. I no, you won't, you, bitch. Dude. Yeah, I will. MTV. Come, come. Uh, you know what somebody dash M Town. I don't know if it's smart to shit on like a fucking MTV show. Don't do it. All right. 
Well, why? Never mind. Do you want to work for them? No, not really. It's not going to happen. But they're garbage. You know, so I was talking with somebody the other night, and uh, they're great. We were making fun of, or like, you know, guy we've made fun of, <laughs> we've made fun of like MTV shows in the past. Sure. And somebody told me they were auditioning. For, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fucking. Say it. I'm not <laughs> what? Gonna, well, I'll tell you afterwards. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even. Oh, wow, well, well, great for the, the podcast. Listeners. Wow. I did. Let's I end it on that up. note. Let's tweet at Nick. <laughs> what was you want to just cut that out? Uh, no, I'm leaving it in. He doesn't. Do you refuse to ever? edit any of these ever? No, I don't. I, I, I just learned what compression is the other day. You can edit fairly easily, I feel like. I yeah, could, but whatever. Why, we can just drop it. We can move on to something else. That's talk a good about something point. Else. I like that. I That's wanted to mention zen. this. Here's here's a good... Uh, you throw this in the bit tank for the open mic. <laughs> Let's do it. So, the money in the briefcase thing. Nobody mm-hmm. has briefcases anymore. No. Mm-hmm. But they still do the briefcase thing in movies. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, if somebody's buying drugs... If I saw somebody with a briefcase today... That's for drugs. I would pull them over. Did yeah, you see yeah. that truck that got pulled over in the Holland Tunnel today? No. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. With, with the, all the guns? But the then guns. they showed the truck, and it's like this fucking, like, Ram van with wraparound decals and a fucking, like, surge green cooler in the front on, like, a bracket. They were, like, strapped up, and they were like, we had to rescue our friend who's addicted to heroin. That's what they said. And they had just, like, an arsenal of weapons. In this, the the to get truck, New York yeah, the truck looks like a, like a mid-90s Mountain Dew promotion. <laughs> That's awesome. It's got all this, like, you know, like, urban tactical gear or whatever, decals yeah. on the side, like a Tonka decal. Oh, hell and, yeah. And, yeah, there's, like, a fucking beer cooler attached to the front of, like, a, like a neon green beer cooler attached to the front of the truck. <laughs> it's basically a monster truck. <laughs> Damn, I wonder what they were for real about to get into. Hopefully about about to like kill somebody over Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the raid the surge. Factory. I love that. You know what I love with each new mass shooting? It's always like a new like uh, kind of. It's always a new different type of guy now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they'll be like, oh yeah, <laughs> Do, of course it was a, a gay Muslim. <laughs> yeah, closeted gay God, Muslim. Oh, fuck, I don't even know yeah. who to be mad at with this one. It used to be easy, just yeah. crazy white guy. Well, until uh, what's his name? The DC I, sniper. N- uh, no, I was. I almost said Jeremy Lin. What's the fucking Arthur? Ar- not Arthur, Arthur Chu. Chu. Virginia Tech. Virginia Virginia that Tech. joke. What's his name? <laughs> Cho. So, it's Sun Cho. Sun Moon Cho. I don't know. I don't know. Whoever he is, he should star in the new Ghost in the Shell. That is. <laughs> that should be the fucking. The young and young we kid. did it. And there it is. That's the callback, folks. Thanks should that for be the listening? podcast? Whatever. So. We did it. That's an hour. You guys were fun. Yeah. You guys got anything you want to plug? No? Great. Uh, See you later. Nothing. Instagram, bitch.